Hey guys, it's Rich from Newbie Prepping here. I'm currently in the bedroom today. I uh, was going to be in the shed, but it's currently being used. Um, so what I wanted to do after uh, seeing uh, Mark's video, uh, the one posted before this, uh, he showed off a, a little bag. Um, I don't know if he considered it an everyday carry, but um, uh, I've been thinking about making a video of my everyday carry bag uh, for a while now. So um, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, show it off uh, and then do an, uh, another video. Uh, the one after this will be uh, me doing my review of the lockdown. My review of my perspective of the lockdown, not like a perspective as a whole. Although I might throw some opinions in there. Uh, anyway, um, doesn't really matter for now. Uh, let's just have a look at my EDC. Just want to say uh, it's not uh, like 100% perfect and it'll probably change um, uh, from time to time, uh, it might be completely different in like even a few months time, something like that. Uh, but I thought that this was pretty good, um, but I'll explain along the way. So let's have a look. Okay, so what I've gone for is a uh, Trespass uh, bum bag. Um, I know that uh, it's not exactly the cool uh, military type thing that uh, preppers and bushcrafters usually go for, uh, but honestly, I thought that this bag um, would suit rather well, and it holds an awful lot of stuff, so fair play to it. Um, I will be using this in conjunction with a Tinder pouch that uh, my friend made for for me. Um, I'm not sure if he wants to be uh, named on YouTube, in fact I'm pretty sure that he doesn't, so I'm not going to name him, but yeah, this thing... Fair play to him, it's really well made, and I really like it, so yeah, thank you very much to him. Uh, so let's start with this little compartment in the back. Uh, this is uh, the fire making compartment, uh, got a little pocket fire kit here, uh, got a little uh, bunch of nice things in here, um, a lot of them are super compressed down, but like you would just unfurl them or unravel them, and uh, you can make fire uh, from them really easily. Um, what else is in here? Uh, at the moment it's just uh, my Smith's Tinder Maker, which I did a review on recently, and uh, that is it in there for the moment. Uh, this little pocket here is uh, used in tandem uh, with the um, fire uh, compartment in the, uh, in the back. Uh, basically, I've just got another fire steel here, and uh, I've got a bunch of uh, wood shavings here which I've got in a sealed bag. Um, I might just put these into my uh, little tinder bag that my friend made for me though. Uh, let's do that right now. Okay, yeah, that's a bit more like it. Um, in there, uh, my friend actually gave me some char cloth and uh, a piece of flint from Kent and uh, he even threw in a box of matches there just in case I struggled a lot. <laughs> so in this side, um, I've just got a bunch of uh, tea and coffee uh, for whenever I want to make drinks. Um, and uh, on the front here is where I would normally have a water bottle, uh, but I chucked away the plastic water bottle. Well, I said I chucked it away, I didn't actually throw it in the bin. Um, uh, but I want an aluminium water bottle to go here so that I can just place it into the fire uh, and boil water like that. Uh, let's move on to the main compartment. Okay, so from inside here, uh, it's completely empty now. There's a little compartment in the back there, um, uh, and in there I keep these things. Um, I've said before, uh, the little card survival survival card thing is a little bit of a gimmick, but I figured it came free with this uh, other thing that I bought, so I figured why not. And uh, here I've got my Promethe UK legal knife. Um, Fold, folding knife, non-locking, can't open it with uh, only one hand, and uh, less than three inches. And also here I've just got another pen knife. Um, sorry, uh, not a pen knife, a Swiss Army knife that um, uh, I received from my grandmother uh, many, many years ago. Um, in the main compartment, which would be in here. Is there something else in there? There is something else in there. How about that? So in that main compartment, I've got a little pry bar that I uh, got from Wish. Um, say what you will about Wish, uh, I'll probably agree with you. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, even though this thing's a little bit small, it does seem rather solid and it looks like it could be quite useful. So yeah, 
I tell you, man, uh, Wish is all right with little things like that. I, I would never buy technology from it, but there we go. Uh, I've also got these things here um, uh, serving two purposes for cordage and for uh, unraveling, fraying, and using as backup tinder for starting fires. Uh, these two things here, if it's uh, an emergency situation uh, where I, ha I haven't got any of my normal stuff, uh, my bug out bag and all that, I figured having ponchos would be a good idea. Uh, I got this thing because, I mean, it's probably a little bit of a novelty, um, but you know, the, the axe is actually uh, sharp. Uh, this thing here actually does uh, clamp quite, um, just does actually clamp quite well. And uh, yeah, there's actually a bunch of really helpful stuff on there. So yeah, it's, it is a little bit of a gimmick, but I mean, I figure, you know, not too bad, not too bad. And uh, this thing here is just a little survival kit uh, that I got from eBay. Um, I don't usually like getting the um, pre-made survival kits. Uh, because I think that they're a bit cheap and nasty, but this one actually seemed okay. Uh, so it comes with one of those um, survival blanket things. It uh, comes with a bunch of cordage, which again, very useful. And then you can see a little compass in there, a torch, um, one of those survival bracelets uh, with more cordage on it. And um, a bunch of other, well there's two carabiners and uh, a whistle and one of those tree saw things uh, that I would probably never use uh, unless it's for an absolutely dire emergency like I've not got a saw, not got an axe yeah, that's probably the only reason I would use that okay, so um, yeah, and uh, the good thing is about this is that it fits really snugly inside this bag here another thing I wanted to mention is I wanted to see if I could get some uh, like really small food, uh, uh, small but high protein, high energy food uh, for this EDC. So I went for this. Um, however, when you open the box, you see that it's all in this like silver packaging. So I don't know if they're individually wrapped. Uh, maybe I will just tear into it one day and see because I want them individually wrapped because obviously I'm not going to fit this entire thing in there So I just want like a few since an EDC isn't meant for a like long-term survival. It's just basically a get home bag uh, And that actually reminds me um, uh, This everyday carry does have more of the makings of a get home bag more than anything uh, like just an emergency style like you need to get home because something's happened and you need to get the rest of your stuff, like the main bulk of your stuff. Uh, that's essentially what this uh, bag is supposed to represent, but um, nothing in here is illegal to carry. Uh, it's all uh, everyday carry worthy. Um, so yeah, that's why I consider it an everyday carry. There we go. Uh, what do you think of the bag? Uh, do you think it's uh, lacking in certain areas, or do you think it's uh, fine enough the way it is? What would you add to the bag, or what would you take away from it? Uh, let me know in the comments, uh, it would be interesting to see and hear people's opinions and uh, hopefully uh, this video has helped out people that might be searching YouTube for uh, tips or like uh, uh, things, certain things to get for their own EDC. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and this has been Newbie Prepping, I've been Rich and we shall see you again. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification button, all of that good stuff. We'll see you again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.